new jeans often celebrated for their innovative fashion sense faced unexpected criticism following their appearance at the 2024 Korean Grand Music Awards. The group arrived on the red carpet in a mix of outfits, facing white, navy, and black tones, with designs that included bold elements like headbands, asymmetric hems, and layered detailing. However, the lack of cohesion in their styling left fans and netizens disappointed. The group arrived on the red carpet in the 2024 Korean Grand Music Awards. The group has no alibi proof and come totally incongruous with the personalities of the people in the images, making their absence a sentient rigidity. A viral post on the coup sparked a wave of comments critiquing the outfits. While fans acknowledged the group's stunning visuals, many described the styling as underwhelming and lacking inspiration. Comments included, the kids' visuals saved the styling, and Karaman's vision, they look like princesses from different universes. This reaction contrasts sharply with New Jean's usual praise for setting fashion trends. The group's past appearances have earned them recognition for their bold and unified looks, making this perceived misstep particularly surprising. Despite the styling critique, New Jean's undeniable charm and stage presence continue to solidify their reputation as one of K-pop's most beloved groups. Fans eagerly anticipate a return to their signature fashion-forward approach in the future. The boys Sunwoo and a staff member were injured after being assaulted by a stalker fan who trespassed into their dorm. The incident occurred on November 9, when Sunwoo encountered the intruder hiding in the emergency staircase as he returned home after a schedule. Feeling threatened, Sunwoo immediately contacted a staff member, who arrived to assist him. Together, they managed to detain the individual until the police arrived. During the altercation, both Sunwoo and the staff member were repeatedly assaulted. The intruder was arrested on charges of trespassing and assault, and is currently under police investigation. Following the incident, Sun Wu and the staff member visited a nearby hospital for treatment and have since been closely monitored by IST Entertainment. The agency also disclosed other recent privacy violations, such as a tracking device being attached to an artist's vehicle and deliberate tire damage. Emphasizing a zero-tolerance policy, IST Entertainment pledged strict legal action and ongoing measures to protect their artists. Fans have expressed outrage over the incident, calling for enhanced security for the group. Despite these challenges, the boys continue to promote their latest comeback, Trigger, released in late October. Blackpink's Rosé is set to make a guest appearance on Zip Daesung, the YouTube talk show hosted by Big Bang's Daesung. According to Spot Daesung News, Rose recently completed filming for the episode, which is expected to air soon. This appearance comes as Rose gears up for the release of her highly anticipated first full album, Rosie, scheduled for December 6. As part of her promotional activities, Rose has been making rounds on various entertainment shows, including TVN's You Quiz on the Block. Her participation in Zip Day Sung follows G-Dragon's headline-grabbing feature, building anticipation for Rose's episode. Fans are particularly excited about the reunion of these former YG family members, particularly about the sibling-like chemistry they will showcase on the show. During the episode, Rose is expected to open up about her journey creating Rosie, her recent chart-topping duet with Bruno Mars, AAPT, and her thoughts on its global success. With AAPT dominating Billboard's Global 200 charts, Rose continues to captivate audiences worldwide. Fans eagerly await her candid stories and insights on Daesung's show as her album release draws near. Exin partners with iView and Jurigger to expand global reach. Exin, the renowned multinational K-pop group, has been busy with exciting new collaborations aimed at deepening their global presence. Following their partnership with iView, a live broadcast app offering real-time translation in 104 languages, the group has now joined forces with Jurigger, 
a popular beverage brand, for a unique promotional campaign. The collaboration with iView marks a significant step for Exxon, leveraging the app's innovative technology to connect with fans worldwide. Launched in November, iView offers seamless access to live broadcasts, breaking down language barriers for global audiences. Yung Guyang, CEO of 237 Wiz Co Ltd, the company behind iView, expressed enthusiasm about the partnership, stating that Exxon Wins' diverse international fan base aligns perfectly with iView's mission to revolutionize accessibility in live streaming. This collaboration not only strengthens iView's competitiveness in the global market, but also highlights Korea's innovative contributions to the tech and entertainment sectors, Jung added. Building on this momentum, Exxon has taken a creative turn with Jeriger, launching a special edition beverage line featuring Exxon-themed cans. To amplify fan engagement, they announced the Jeriger Challenge, a global contest inviting fans to share creative videos on social media while showcasing their unique style with Jeriger Challenge. A mashing of Exxon inspiration pool by uploading their videos using the hashtags Jeriger Challenge and Exxint. With these collaborations, Exxint continues to expand its influence, not only in entertainment, but also in technology and consumer products, reinforcing their role as cultural ambassadors on a global stage. Fans eagerly await more surprises as Exxint proves they are more than just a K-pop group, they are a global phenomenon. Lumina, the dedicated phantom of K-pop group Black Swan, has initiated a mass protest against the group's agency, DR Music, expressing frustration over perceived mismanagement. Fans are voicing their concerns through mass email campaigns to the agency, demanding better treatment and support for the members. The protest letter, widely circulated online, highlights issues such as lack of promotional planning, inadequate communication, and insufficient resources allocated to the group. In addition to the email campaign, fans have taken to Twitter, trending hashtags like support Black Swan, Black Swan deserves better, DR Music do better, justice for Black Swan, and respect Black Swan. To amplify their concerns, these hashtags aim to draw attention to the group's potential and call for DR Music to provide the members with the support they need to thrive. The letter, directed at DR Music, accuses the agency of failing to recognize Black Swan's global appeal and wasting opportunities that could elevate the group's status in the K-pop industry. Fans stress that the group's talent and efforts deserve acknowledgement and proper management to succeed. The protest underscores Lumina's unwavering support for Black Swan, urging DR Music to take immediate action to ensure a brighter future for the group.